um, I'm about to head to the bank. I want to do a little withdrawal of some cash that I got from my little small business. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm heading to Wells Fargo to do a withdrawal. So y'all yeah, come with. It's been a lot of rain down here, you guys, in Florida. There was some type of hurricane that was passing by. So there has been so much rain. Every single day there was rain. I wanted to go to the beach. I love to go to the beach just to clear my mind and stuff, relax. But I hadn't gotten the chance to go to the beach as yet. I'm holding my camera with my hands. So I'm sorry if it is a little bit shaky, but I haven't gotten a chance to go to the beach as yet, which I'm waiting for the weather to calm down. Once the weather is calm, then I'll go ahead and make my way to the beach with my daughter, with my blanket, with her little fruits and stuff, sitting down, enjoying the beach. I love the beach. The beach helps me to clear my mind and all that stuff, so I really, really enjoy going. But right now, my life has been so boring, y'all. I'm trying to get to a point where I, you know, can go back outside, do brunches, have some fun. Life is too short for me to be living like this. <laughs> Normally when I come to the teller, I prefer to come to the teller because I need certain denominations. I need fives, I need ones, I need tens. I can't get that at the ATM. So I come to the teller so I can get the different denominations that I want. Because this $500 that I'm going to be cash stuffing is coming from my small business. And I'm going to be putting it into multiple places. I'm just now getting into cash planning, y'all. Like... I literally sat down, planned out how much money I'm going to put where, planned out how much denominations I need based off the amount of money that I'm going to put in whatever places. That was so fun and then I wrote that down on my cash breakdown slips. So now I'm pulling the $500 into the specific denominations that I'm going to need based off of my cash planning. So <laughs> I'm really excited about that. I don't know. It's a new thing now they're doing where they're asking for. I just sent it my gear. Send it. It's five zero one seven seven six. Seven seven six. Mhm. Mm How do you want the cash back? Um. Hold on. I put it in my phone somewhere. Okay. Five ones. Nineteen fives. 18 tens and 11 twenties thank you see so i just told her like how i want it to be so that it's the exact way how i want it to be when i'm cash stuffing that was so good i have not cash planned i've never did that before so this is something new and i really enjoy it i think i'm going to keep doing this um i think because now i'm doing the 100 envelope ch challenge it's causing me to need ones, which I never normally use ones. So now that I need the ones, I have to use the ones. So now I need to know how many ones I need to stuff, if you get what I mean, but yeah. Um, for my Soft Girl Era channel, please guys go ahead and subscribe to my Baddies and the Bag channel. That is my cash budgeting channel. So that's kind of what I'm talking about, just in case you're a little bit lost. I'm talking about cash stuffing <laughs> and budgeting. I want to go to Michael's after this. I'm going to get two balls of yarn. This is a pretty, 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 absolutely beautiful pink yarn that I found yesterday. I made like a placemat for my desk out of it. I hope that you guys are hearing me because the car sounds a little noisy, but I I made a placemat for my desk. Out of it. I'm absolutely in love with it. So I said, let me go to Michael's and grab two more because they did have like a 30% off sale. 
So I'm going to see if I could get them on the sale. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, here's the cash. They normally put my cards inside of that little baggie. So I'm just going to get my cards out. Put it back inside of my wallet. If you leave the bank and you don't count the cash, something is wrong with you. So let me just count my cash, cause girl. One, two, three, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. Okay, five. Count your cash before you leave the bank. Don't be just leaving the bank. So now I know I have my $500, and now I'm heading to Michael's. It's the one, y'all, but oh my goodness. They don't have any more. This is also pink, but it's two different colors. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Should we do white? Should we do pink and white? Since they don't have any more pink. Oh my goodness. This is what I came here for. <sighs> this always happens when I find like a good yarn that I really want. They don't have no more. Are you kidding me? Sucks for me. You know, I'm just gonna walk and look because sometimes, you know, people pick the stuff up and then they put them in the different places. Maybe I should. See, this color pink is not bad. It's just, it has like an orangey tone to it. I don't know how to explain it. Look at this. Look at the difference. This is why I like this color better. So they only have one, y'all. I'm just gonna get it. Just gonna work with the one. I know it's not gonna work for a blanket, but hopefully by the time we're finished with this one, more comes in stock. Let's look over here. They have the material. It's just the color i want to try to make a blanket with these puffy ones i think that blanket would be absolutely beautiful but we're not going to do that until they go on sale because y'all see 12.99 for one and to make a blanket you're definitely going to need let's see what it says because it normally tells you on here seven giant Seven giant? Is that is that what it's saying? You need seven to make a blanket? Let's see. Huh. Doesn't say. But normally you'll need like six, five to seven to make a blanket. Twelve ninety nine times seven or six is what I'll need to buy the the bulky chunky ones to make a blanket with. So no ma'am, I'll pass. <laughs>
you. Okay, my baby. Look at all this hair you got. Look at all this hair you got. anymore so we decided to go and you guys know your girl ain't leaving the house without her little face and her looking super cute so didn't leave the house until I was super cute um that's when I decided to get dressed and go um so he took the car to the mechanic to get the car um the front changed because he messed it up and he also they also changed the light so now my car has a new bumper and a new light so yeah i want to be driving a fancy car like everyone else but i'm good with my little 2014 nissan um the thing with the nissan is it doesn't even give me trouble y'all like it doesn't give me trouble at all Leia is saying hi so I am in love with my car. I'm good with my car. Whatever. Look at my nails. Nails is giving crazy. <laughs> the nail girl wants me to come on Monday. I can't go on Monday because Leah has her appointment at the time when she wants me to come. And then she says Tuesday and my boyfriend's going to work at the time she wants me to come on Tuesday. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just probably going to have to just polish my nails until I get a chance to go see her. But yeah, that's what's going on. So right now, I want to see if there's any Joann's close by because there's some stuff I need to get at Joann's for the product launch. So I want to see if Joann's is nearby. If Joann's is nearby, I'm going to stop at Joann's. If Joann's is not nearby, I'm going to wait until Monday when I take Leah to her appointment to go to Joann's. This is absolutely amazing. It says Joann's is literally five minutes away from where I'm at. Yes! As I was saying about the car, yes, I do want a fancy car like everyone else. And I will be able to get me a fancy car um, whenever the time is right. I used to lease and I gave back the lease car and bought this one. So I do own my car. This is my little asset. So to me, it's better to own it than to lease it where it's not yours. You know, like now that I'm young and I'm not really where I want to be in life and I'm, you know, trying to build my life and build myself do I want to be paying an expensive car note no so that's what I mean when I say like whenever I get there I get my dream car which I don't even know what my dream car is do y'all know what our dream cars are I don't even know I always see myself in a in, in a Lexus or a Benz to be honest I like the Lexuses so yeah Lexus is what I see myself in. We made it. We're inside of Joanne's. We're about to get what I want. I didn't bring any tripod with me, so 
holding my phone with my hands. Pick up one that you want, Mama. That's the one you want? Yes? Yeah. All right, let's go. Because that's not what Mommy come about. We didn't come in here about toys, okay? You hear me? You hear me? Pretty, pretty. From the other day, it's been so much rain. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> rain. I can't tell the last day it didn't rain. But I'm glad Joanne's is this close, though. It's not close to where I live, but it's close to where I went. So I just I might as well just go there, so I don't have to stop there on Monday. Hey y'all, I'm here getting some makeup on my face and trying to fix my hair. I would put the camera inside of the bathroom, but I don't like when it's inside the bathroom because the light in the bathroom is like, you know, the daylight color light. I don't like that. I don't really like the daylight color. So I'm just here trying to fix my hair. I'm about to fix my hair. I just did the sewing yesterday. I didn't fix it. I just kind of sewed it in and left it. So I'm about to, you know, just fix it up real cute and nice. Um, it's raining outside. I wanted to do something, you know, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. I was going to go outside, you know, to Ulta, pick up a few makeup stuff because I do need some stuff for a client that I have tomorrow. But it seems I'm going to have to do that tomorrow, Saturday, because it's raining like crazy outside. Very much dark. Hey, Leah very much dark it's giving dark so I'm just gonna fix my hair I wanted to like fix my hair on the camera but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it because if I turn this way y'all would just see me like you know like I wanted y'all to actually see me fix my hair but oh, I have to fix my hair off camera and then come back I finally got to finish the little hair do you guys like my hair I sewed in some bundles that I had last night. Um, looks good. I like it. Do y'all like it? <laughs> I don't really be going to the hairdresser no more. It's too much to deal with. The hairdressers down here in Florida is just too much to deal with. And on top of that, we just moved. I don't really have money to be throwing out. And if I could do my hair by myself, why should I go pay? You know, so I only really go get my hair done when I'm going to like, you know, special occasions like graduation or I'm going out of the country or something. Other than that, I could do my own hair and I could even do it by myself if I'm going out of the country as well. But you know, as a little girly girl, you don't sometimes you want to be taken care of and you want other people to do things for you. So. I would normally book somebody at that time but other than that y'all I just be doing my own hair to be honest I have a lot of work to do because we are launching I why every time small businesses we keep saying we I feel like we say we to make it sound a little bit more professional but I am launching newbies on my website so I have a lot a lot a lot of work to do um, I've already designed the product, so that's good. And my binders, some of the binders already start coming in and some of the stuff that I've ordered have already started to come in, so that's good. I'm planning to do the launch Monday, October 14. Um, I have to get the products um, up on my YouTube channel. Like I have to record the products and you know, so my subscribers can see what's happening, see that there's a launch. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. A lot. As y'all can see in the beginning of this video, that was just me trying to get the launch um, flyers together to post on my Instagram story. 
to post on YouTube, to post on my social media basically. That's just me trying to design the flyers. But I had to give it a break because my laptop died. So right now I'm just chilling. I just ate some checkers. My boyfriend is still here. He's not at work yet. So my daughter is nowhere around me. This is the little time that I get to myself sometimes until he leaves for work again. Then she's going to be right on my butt. And she's not even big enough yet. You know where I could say, cut this for me. Or you know she could help me out in the little office. All she be doing is driving me nuts. I ain't going to lie. She be driving me nuts whenever I'm trying to focus. So um, since recently, I have started to go to my bed early. So I can wake up early because I feel like when I wake up early in the morning I have so much time in the day to do so much things as a mom when you become a mom your life changed so bad like your life changes and I'm telling you like the time you used to have for yourself the freedom you used to have for yourself to do whatever you want whenever you want wave it goodbye honey wave it goodbye because it's gone so um, I've started to go to my bed a little bit earlier so I could make time for the day so I could wake up early and get a lot of things done before my daughter wakes up. So that's what I've been doing lately. But then I realized that sometimes in the early mornings when the sun comes through the windows, it's kind of, it leaves like a shadow. The blinds leave a shadow on my desk and it's like it's not working good with the camera when I'm trying to record my videos so unfortunately I'm going to have to record my videos later in the day which she would have already been woken up by that time and I'm trying to do as y'all can see on the channel I'm trying to do more of a, a ASMR ish type videos so it's hard because doing those videos you need quiet so you can't really have people talking, kids playing in the background for those type of videos. So I figured I can't record at night. I don't like to record at night because I prefer the natural light, which is the sun coming through my windows. So what I try to do is when her dad gets here from work around 11.30 a.m., I'll just have her with him in the living room and I'll be in my room. But maybe I'm going to have to do these ASMR videos whenever I get the chance because the mornings used to be perfect because everyone she's still sleeping her dad's at work but the sun seep, seeping through the window is giving a problem so maybe I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that so lately I haven't really been going to my bed early for the past two nights I've been up later because of the launch I've been working on stuff working on products etc so I can feel myself getting back into the cycle of waking going to bed late and I don't like that I prefer the cycle of going to bed early so I'm gonna have to break myself back into that cycle once I figure out something to do with the blinds and the sun coming through the window if y'all know anything just drop it in the comments <sighs> so let me go in the room and show y'all what we got going on my boyfriend's still here so y'all gonna hear him out there and my daughter is out there with him giving me some time before he goes back to work so whenever she runs like she's trying to run to me just now he's like hey come here get back here because I told him like keep her out there with him until I'm done doing what I'm doing so that I can do what I do so let me show y'all what's going on oh look at look at it look at it there she go there she go look at her posing every time you put a camera on her now she poses because she thinks it's a picture. It's not a picture, baby. It's not a picture. <laughs> okay, y'all, so these are some of the binders that have already started to arrive. These are some highlighters that I purchased as well for the website. So I'm gonna have to go through these binders, check them, make sure that all of these binders are good. No problems, no issues is going on before I even put them up on the website. And then these are some of the products, new products that I made. And these are just for me to take pictures, for me to fit them in the books. Leia, please be quiet. This is for me to fit them in the books, take pictures, and see how they look. This is not even the ones for, that's going to be selling, meaning that I haven't started to cut and laminate and package all the products 
and get them ready for selling yet. These ones I've already printed. What I've done is I try to separate the work in days instead of trying to do everything one time. I print out some of the products here. And look at this. That is not even half of the products, okay? So I try to separate the work in days. Like today, I'm only printing out the weekly plan, the grocery list, the single products and sorry for my boyfriend he's playing game with his friends the single products the grocery list the weekly meal plan and the cash breakdown slips those are what i've printed here this is what's here later tonight when my boyfriend comes from work i am going to give him the laminator the laminated sheets and these papers so he can laminate those for me okay because get to work chop chop you're not only a carrier of course he takes my products and my packages to the um to the post office like he's the carrier for the business of course but sometimes you gotta do a little more work than that so sometimes i give him the laminator the laminated sheets and a pile of paper this big and let him laminate them so, um, one time I used to do like custom orders, like once you place an order, then I'll print the stuff just because I feel like it makes more sense because you don't waste the paper printing, a, you know, other products that are not probably best sellers or good sellers. You've wasted the products, you know what I mean? So I was doing like custom orders where I would just custom print the products. But then it's so much work that way because when orders come in, instead of me just being able to grab, pack, and fulfill, I have to be making them. So I'm just like, nah, 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 that's not going to work for me. <laughs> so now I start to like pre-make them. Like I'll print like 15 or 20 of something and then, you know, laminate, make them, package them, and then like put them in stock. That way when orders come in, I could just grab and go. The only products I can't do that with are the custom products, of course, like the custom envelopes, the custom, anything custom that I have to make based off of a list that you're giving me and then I can't pre-make. But other than that, I try to pre-make everything now. So I have been so busy in this little studio, to be honest. It's a whole lot of work that's not even close to getting done. So you guys, I'm going by our clubhouse to record some videos. Um, of course, for my YouTube. My house is just a little too noisy right now. My boyfriend's in there making noises. My daughter is in there. I can't record anything in there and I need to record. I should have taken up some extra lip gloss. <gasps> I left my lip gloss. I like to go over there. I've been over there probably twice, but it's like I go there sometimes to record, to do homework. You know, it's so peace and quiet when my boyfriend and my daughter is at home because when my boyfriend is at home, he be playing game and stuff. It be so noisy. So we're heading to the clubhouse to see if we could record like four or five videos. So come with. I love, 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 love my new community, y'all. I know that the, the pool is closed, but I'm hoping the clubhouse is open. clubhouse it's open this um until the office closes so you get to use it until the office closes and you can keep little events over here too y'all you see like this is a 
entire kitchen. They have an entire kitchen over here. Y'all see kitchen sink. There's a big TV on the wall. This is stove, oven, coffee maker. This is a refrigerator. You see? It's so nice. I absolutely love it here. Majority of the times when I come over here, I'm absolutely by myself. <laughs> I doubt that people actually use this thing. I feel like, do you hear me echoing? Oh my God. I feel like I'm literally the only person who uses this thing because every time I come here, it's empty. But sometimes when they keep like events, because they be keeping events, bingo, whatever, whatever, they be keeping it in here. So I absolutely love this. It's so beautiful and it's so quiet and peaceful. And I can literally just sit here now and record my videos in peace and quiet in my background without my boyfriend yelling and screaming, my daughter yelling and screaming in the background. So let's get to the recording. I have these clusters that I get off of Amazon that I use with this glue right here. And they last me for, sometimes it goes a week. I like the way these look. So now I just wait on them to dry a little bit and I'm gonna put on the sealant to seal them in. And then hopefully these, these give me another week and then after another week, then I'll do it again. And do it again, 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 and do it again. Did my own sewing, do my own lashes. My nails is a mess. The nails girl is trying to see me on Monday. Can't do Monday. My daughter having a doctor appointment. She trying to see me on Tuesday. My boyfriend finna be at work the time she trying to see me. I don't know, I don't know what to do. This is my little eyelash bag. I have multiple clusters in there and I have like, I have a little strip in there just in case I'm doing my makeup and I need like a quick little, if I don't have no eyelashes on and I need like a quick little bomb bomb. But let me tell y'all something about this eyelash glue right here. You see this? It's called You Cool Me. I got it off of TikTok. When I tell you that this glue is the best, I'm only using this because this is done and I need to order another one. But the sealant is not done. Like I still have more sealant. So I'm gonna go in and seal the clusters with it. But let me tell you something about that glue right there. When I when I use that glue, this glue right here to do my lashes, I sometimes it be giving me like two weeks. I'm not lying. If you do it right. And the, the extra tip is you gotta put the sealant on the tweezer and then squeeze it again after applying the, sweet, the sealant. And let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. You lashes ain't going nowhere. They ain't going nowhere, okay? It's my favorite clusters of all time. I get off Amazon. This is magic and it's literally like I think ten dollars or something like that and I love it I love the curls they fit my eyes perfectly I just redid this room like last night I was reorganizing see how I have the pink placemat on my desk I have this I have more of the yarn left so I have decided that I'm going to make a rug for my room because there's like this big space in front of my recliner I'm gonna show y'all when I'm done with my face there's a big space in front of my recliner so I decided that I want to take the opportunity 
to make a rug to put there instead of going buy one. So I'm gonna make a rug that's gonna match the placemat on my desk and put it on the floor in the center right there. So I'm gonna show y'all the little things. I'm gonna show y'all what I moved around in a few minutes. But let me see if I could get this little makeup on my face so I can record these three videos before these people wake up. It's now like 8.37 a.m. Around 10.30, 10, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna get up. So I wanna quickly just do a quick, soft, everyday look on my face and get right to the recording. So this is my makeup bag. Of course it's pink and of course it says Barbie. Oh. <laughs> Of course. The first things first, before you put any makeup on your face, you, you want to make sure that you moisturize. You can't put makeup on dry skin. Don't do that. So I'm using Tula. This is my moisturizer that I'm using. I use Tula, I use Cetaphil. Really and truly, I use multiple different types of moisturizer. I'm using Tula. Are y'all seeing or oh, it's too bright? I like I like this makeup bag because it has like multiple compartments where I can put my brushes, like everything goes in the bag. Brushes, everything. So I really love this makeup bag and I'm glad I bought it. I found it at TJ Maxx. It was around like $20 and then right here I put like my pencils and stuff and then you lift it up and you the brushes go there you see it so it's like absolutely perfect I love it so every piece of makeup for me goes in this bag so I just bring the bag to my face everything is in there you need to use your primer I have two primers so I use elf elf is the, the one it's almost like the milk hydro um primer and it's ten dollars so it's a cheaper version and then i have my one size secure the blur primer which is from um one size one size what's the name it's a one size from patrick star i think one size from patrick star and really important because it's expensive it's like i think it's like 35 or almost 40 dollars for the one size so we don't really use that one a lot unless we really need to because honey it's a little bit pricey they're the best foundations ever i use nars and Too faced born this way the hydrating one for foundation they're a little dirty don't get on me because i used them yesterday and when i put my foundation on i just work i just go light and work it into my skin little by little i don't blob on a whole bunch of my face I just take my time and go light. So you see, I barely picked up foundation on my brush. Like I picked it up, but it's not like a trail load of foundation. And you see how the both those colors just match me like perfectly. Like can you even tell the difference with the foundation and my skin? I know I have really good skin. <laughs> I absolutely do. I don't struggle with acne, spots, bumps, and stuff like that. I've never been like that. I've always had beautiful skin so, since I was small. Like, I remember when I was in school, I used to get so much compliments on my skin. Like, oh my God, are you wearing foundation? Even when I came here to America, a lot of people used to ask me that. Are you wearing foundation? When I'm not wearing any foundation. Y'all saw my skin just now without a foundation. So I'm just gonna add a foundation. We're doing like a light little soft look today. And then just bring it around the neck. Make sure that you're not looking all crazy. Concealers. And my favorite concealer of all time is Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Full coverage, they're the absolutely best. First, I go in with a lighter color. Like I told y'all, it's an everyday look, so we're not really gonna do too much. Dab it in there, dab it out here, dab it out there. And then I go with a darker one right here at the edges so that it blends good when it's time to blend it. And then 
I use the lighter one on my nose. Okay. I'm right here, just a little bit. And right here, just a little bit. But remember, this is just the everyday look for me. Like this is how I do my everyday makeup. For contour, it looks crazy. I have it for years. When I contour, I use foundation. That's the trick, okay? I don't use concealer to contour. So I'm using Juvia's Place foundation stick to contour. And I'm just gonna draw me my line right here. I'm not gonna bring it too much in. And then I'm gonna bring it around my forehead. I like to contour my forehead because I have a big forehead if y'all couldn't tell that. So, and then I go on the lower chin. Oh, too much. The same contour foundation we're using to go alongside the nose to add a little contour to the nose. So we're not doing too much. I know I keep saying that. Y'all probably looking at me like, you're not doing too much, girl. When I do my foundation, I'll do all this. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with our liquid blush. This is Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Grace. I'm gonna go in with Grace and I'm going to put it right here. The first thing I do is blend out my contour because I leave my concealer so we can sit a little bit. I love when my concealer sits before I blend it because I like the flawless finish that it gives. So I'm using like a, I'll call this brush like an angled fluffy brush. It looks like this. I'm using an angled fluffy brush to blend out my contour. I got this brush at Marshalls. Marshalls and TJ Maxx be having nice makeup brushes. Don't sleep on them because they be having the brand. It's called Draponisk. Draponisk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. They're literally like horse hair bristles. So it gives you the best blend. And none of my brushes are synthetic. If you're doing your makeup, I don't recommend you use synthetic brushes to blend or don't have synthetic brushes in your makeup tray at all. I wouldn't recommend it. Or it's hair brushes all the time. All my brushes are real hair. I don't use the fake hair brushes. So this is me just blending up my contour, y'all. Now I'm gonna blend in the brush, but I'm using the same brush to do that. Just blend in the blush with the same contour brush. So now we're gonna blend out the, con um, the highlights and I'm using this brush to do that. This is Real Techniques setting brush and this is the perfect brush of all time to blend out your contour, your highlight with. This brush I've been using for years and I use the same brushes, like I use the same brush on my clients to, to do the same thing that I do on my face. Cause when I put makeup on my face, it's like I've seen what works best and I'm doing it. And then I just buy the same ones to use on my clients. Nice and easy. Lighten up on the eyes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the next side. Get up under the eyes. Look how easy that just blended. I'm gonna do my chin. Forehead. Now remember I told y'all I have a big forehead. So when it comes on to blending my forehead, I keep the highlight to a minimum and keep the contour to a maximum. So the thing is, contour makes your face skinnier. It's some it creates an illusion to like, you know, small and certain areas of your face. Our contour brush again, just to blend out the tip. That way it doesn't look, have like a harsh line. So use these two brushes, blend out the highlight, and where the highlight meets the contour, you're trying to blend that so it doesn't look, you know, like a line. Exactly. <laughs> okay. 
So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in my inner eyes because I always leave that for last. Then what I do, go back with my contour brush for the nose and just rub it over the two ends. Now I go back with my foundation brush and without anything on it and I just go back over everything. This is the brush with the foundation. The only place I don't go is over like under my eyes. So now I'm going to set. Now we gotta set the face and my setting powder that I use is one size and I use a triangle pad along with my Real Techniques brush, but I'm just gonna use a triangle pad first. Get some powder on your triangle pad. Dab it on your hands and go under your eyes and press. See? And I just go in like up and down motions. So I can set the under eye. I'll do a little bacon. That's my boyfriend's alarm going off. If I'm not going out, I don't bake. I just use my powder puff, my triangle puff, and press the powder in. So basically everywhere that we just put the concealer, we're going over the set. Now, if I was going out, I would have contoured here where it's like, but I ain't going nowhere. So I ain't gonna do that. I'm just going to pat. I'm just gonna touch up my brows. I can't see y'all. The mirror is, the lighting is not giving. Cause as y'all can see, I have a lot of brows. We gotta go with a powder blush this time. I'm using Anast Anastasia Beverly Hills powder brush. One of them fell out, as y'all can see. I love blush. I don't know if the camera is like showing it, but I feel like it's it's too light. But I'm gonna put on the powder blush now. I love blushes. Sometimes I be going a little bit too much. This is my everyday look, okay? And then I go in with a little eyeshadow using Morphe. Morphe's palette. It's like a palette with neutrals. Brush the lightest brown over my eyes with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna brush it like this. With black. With my black pencil like that. And then I'm gonna use my brush to blend out the black pencil, the edge of it with brown. Just doing this. And I'm so far from the mirror, I'm just hoping that I'm doing everything right. And that's it. And today I'm just gonna be wearing my lip oil. I'm not really, normally I would line my lips with brown and do all that. But just some lip oil today, it's fine. Quick. Spray a little setting spray on my face. This is the best setting spray of all time, Morphe. And now for the fix my hair, and I'll be ready for Lily. Don't laugh, I'll be braiding my hair in the nights. Look at this little ray, so cute. You guys, I was finally able to complete my recording. The light, the rain stopped, the light came back up, so I was able to finish it up. But look what I got. I got this from Trader Joe's, 100% pineapple juice. And they also had the mango juice as well. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely one of my favorites i buy it all the time i go there all the time i go there i buy it look some good old pineapple juice honey today 
that's all I really got planned. I'm gonna cook some salmon. I'm trying to get to work eating leftover pizza right now. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night, we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high. be on that way trying to control our emotions if we on a rise out of passion we could share love in the ocean but if you want to go insane either way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night all night do we heal do we bleed i'm gonna follow your lead but we could go all night now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too But you'd rather stay high I know you can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'm going to follow your lead. We could go all night. I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves. And knowing your attention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. Know you looking bomb the way you dress it. Gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage. You got the upper handle on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather. We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle. When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it. I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure. Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure. You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends. No, you can't, I'm out here. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we can 
share love and the 